what is it like on a Mike Lee set? As an actor, what is mm. the process like for you? Well, it, it, it's, it's rare and it's brilliant. Um, I suppose that's a testament to why he's indulged me seven times and I've allowed him to employ me seven times. <laughs> and I've been very, very pleased to have done it because when you work with Mike, you're going to be asked to be the most collaborative and the most creative you're ever going to be because he makes it absolutely clear from day one that it's a collaboration, that what you've got is a group of actors, an idea, and nothing. And it's your job with him as the maestro, as the, sci as the mad professor of the chemistry set, to come up with this thing that grows out of nothing. And you, together with him, create this. So you're never going to be asked to co-author something. Now, that doesn't mean he, doesn't, he isn't a writer and he isn't in charge. He is. You can't make a move without him. But it's a remarkable uh, and rare um, feeling of joint creativity. He asks so much of you, and because he, he's giving so much of himself, he asks you to go with him on this journey. And it's an amazing thing when he literally says, right, he meets a group of people in a room that he's cast, and he says, we're all going to be making a film. I don't know where we're going with it. I don't quite know what we're going to do. But you bet your life, with a bit of luck, in, in a year's time, we'll have a movie and we'll all be going to see it. But you really do literally start with zero. Well, how does that script process work? Because there's no script, right? Is, no. is, is it So is it a, an outline of a story that he's showing you? Do, do you have a character breakdown? I mean, what are you... No. What are you going on? I mean, do you just show up in costume and he says, shoot, it can't no, be like that. No, how long you got? We haven't got time. Yeah. But I can give you in a very... Uh, Broad strokes. All right, we make it up. But the thing is, it's, he has a formula of how you create a character. You create an organic character based on human beings that you know. You build on that, you work on that for improvisations, every other actor is doing that. He brings those characters together to create the chemistry between them. In this case, we're working on a, a film that is about a, a person that we have lots of information. Our job was to use all of that information that we were learning, reading, and try and make that character you're creating fit that research, mm. bring them together, and through that, Mike is in charge of the oversees the entire dramatic side of it. So he's creating and building in his mind a scenario that you are co-creating, but he is, as I say, as conducting the entire orchestra. He's bringing these dramatic situations and creating this real world that you live in that will eventually create the slices of drama that become the film. So really, what he does, what he's invented, is this amazing technique of making actors come up with characters jointly with him that's notional in his mind that become real, and then you fit them in, they become, they drive the idea, mm. and through that process, he refines the idea and that idea becomes concrete and then it becomes a scene and you do that slice by slice by slice until you end up with this lump of a thing that he cuts together and it's called a film and yeah. people seem to go and see them and enjoy the them. Incredible way of mm. making films. Um, I also wanted to ask you, you know, he uses almost no coverage. It's mm. wide masters and really like a play in a sense, you get oh. an opportunity to just sort of let yeah. the scene happen. As an actor, is it is it freeing for you to be able to work like that, where you know, you know, you don't have to turn it around a bunch of times, you don't have to do a lot of coverage. He's got what he needs, and you can mm. just let the scene happen. Yeah, I mean, he, there is slightly more coverage than you imagine because, but because you use it sparingly, okay, it uh, you don't notice it because what Mike does, the way he shoots things, and with Dick Pope, his cinematographer is what they choose to is shoot it from the best possible position where it's to be observed. They don't shoot it uh, everywhere to cover themselves. Right. They don't shoot it to be clever. And they don't cut back and forth, they just let it play out. Yeah, they let it play. And what you do is when you construct the scene and then you show it to uh, the crew, the crew has also been a part of the development of the characters. They're, everybody knows it's not like you're just presenting it. So then, then what they do is they work out the shot or the series of shots that observe the action without wastage and allow that thing to be not only about the character and about the story, but about the atmosphere, mm -hmm. time and place, where it's set. I think this film 
is about one man and his life, but it's also about the time. Mm -hmm. It's also about what the place was like, what was in that, the, the minutiae, the detail. Yeah, very much so, so when you shoot like that, you get a chance to feel the whole thing and you get a chance to feel what's under that as well. So the simplicity of it is is slightly deceiving because it's very sophisticated. Yeah, it know? is. Yeah. Well, I, I, it's been a pleasure talking to you. I could sit here and talk to you about Mike Lee all day. Likewise. But I know you have other things to do, but it was a pleasure and congratulations nice to on the you. film.